Do you have any idea how responsible I am? I have a house, a mortgage, a girlfriend, and now our neighbor, Mr. Ralph, has asked me to babysit his pet crow while he goes away for the weekend. Ooh, another bird at the house! Well, I can help you with that. After all, I know what birds want in life. No offense, Birdman, but I'm way more responsible than you. You haven't even brushed your teeth since Sheila and I have moved in. How rude to assume such things. How would you even know that? Twinkie Boy always checks to see if our toothbrushes are wet in the morning. I don't get a good morning kiss unless my toothbrush has been used. That's right. And Birdman, your toothbrush is always bone dry. How rude! I don't even have teeth. I have a beak, you imbeciles. Well, you should still practice oral hygiene. Keeping your body clean and healthy is part of being responsible. Speaking of responsible, I have to go take a shower and then pay some bills. Then Sheila and I are going to see Mr. Ralph. Isn't that right, Snookums? That's right, Twinkie Boy. Birdman, maybe you should start with this plant. If you can keep that alive, then you can help us with looking after the crow. <laughs> Those two think they are so superior to me. I'll show them responsibility. In fact, I'm so responsible, I'll give my plant orange juice and crackers to make it grow extra healthy. That will show them. <laughs> responsible. I wash my hair and make sure my armpits don't smell every day. I just think I'm so good. Birdman and Sheila could sure learn a lot from me. Mr. Ralph! I know I was supposed to come pick up your pet crow an hour ago, but I needed to be responsible and take a shower. Now please give me my privacy and Sheila and I will be by shortly. Where is that girl? I don't know. It's not my responsibility to keep track of Sheila 24 hours a day. The others are waiting at the truck stop up the road and you're both late. Let's go. Five minutes. Just five little minutes and we'll be right there to pick up your pet crow. Okay, now skedaddle. Jeez, what a guy. I'm trying to be responsible here.
Betty. What's the big idea? The big idea is hygiene, Freddy. Hygiene is very important. But why? It doesn't seem that important to me. Well, let me tell you a story about a man named John. John was a very dirty man. He never showered or brushed his teeth. As a result, he smelled like rotting meat and his teeth were black and rotten. No one wanted to be around him because he was so disgusting. Ew, that's so gross. I don't want to be like John. You don't have to be like John, Freddy. All you have to do is shower and brush your teeth regularly. It's really not that hard and it will make you smell better and look nicer too. Do you know how to brush your teeth? Mm, no, I don't know how to brush my teeth. How do you do it? Oh boy, I love learning new things. First, you want to get a toothbrush. There are all sorts of different kinds, but I prefer the kind made with pig hair. Pig hair? Yeah, you can find them at your local grocery store. It's very effective. What you do is you put toothpaste on your toothbrush and you can get all sorts of flavors of toothpaste to make the experience more enjoyable. Flavors like bubblegum, strawberry, watermelon. Personally, I love the flavor smoky bacon. But lots of adults like minty flavors because it makes their mouth cool and spicy. And adults are weird. <laughs> That sounds delicious. I want to eat some now. No, Freddy. You don't eat toothpaste. You have to spit it out. It's kind of dangerous to swallow it. And, and then you put it on your toothbrush and you brush the fronts of your teeth and the sides of your teeth and the backs of your teeth and, and your tongue and make your mouth all fresh. And then you, you kind of scrub your gums and you spit it out and brush your tongue too. But Betty, what if I don't want to brush my tongue? Oh, Freddy, you'll, your, your breath will thank you later. It keeps your mouth fresh. Okay, Betty, I get brushing your teeth and all that, but why? They're just going to get dirty again, well, right? Well, yeah. But, Freddy, if we don't keep our bodies clean, then we might start to smell bad. But, I don't mind smelling bad. In fact, I think it'd be kind of cool to be the stinkiest kid in school. <laughs> I don't think anyone would want to be around you if you're the stinkiest kid in school. Uh, Freddy, I literally just told you about John two minutes ago. Hmm. I see your point, but what about all the germs and dirt? Aren't, isn't that harmful? Well, yeah, it can be harmful. That's why you have to take a bath or a shower every day to wash away the germs. If you don't, you can get some B.O. And that stands for body odor. Ah, uh, yes. I know what body odor smells like. Sometimes it smells like sweet and sour sauce that's been left out in the hot sun. Ew. That's true! Your body is covered in all sorts of stuff. Sweat, dead skin cells, dirt, and more. We even have bacteria on our skin that causes the stink to accumulate. When you don't clean yourself off with soap and water, that stuff starts to pile up and smells bad. Sometimes people smell so bad that the smell will make the back of your throat feel icky. So make sure to hop in the shower every day and remember to use some gentle soap. And use some deodorant once you've dried yourself off. Yeah, that's only if you're old enough to start using deodorant. <laughs> you know one thing we didn't talk about? What? Washing your hands. Oh gosh! That's really important to do. It helps us to not get sick. Yeah, 
I wash my hands after every time I use the toilet. Oh, good! Why don't you tell us more about that? Well, first you need to wet your hands with warm water. It has to be warm water or else bacteria or viruses might not leave your hands. Then you need to add soap and lather your hands by rubbing them together. Scrub your palms, the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails for at least 20 seconds. Try singing the alphabet so you know when you're done. Finally, rinse your hands with clean water and dry them with a clean towel or air dry them. That sounds absolutely perfect, Freddy. We always need to wash our hands to help keep us from getting sick. Hey, Betty, maybe we could go wash our feet, too. <laughs> I don't see why not. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, Twinkie Boy, come here now. What is it, good pal? Ah, Twinkie Boy, I was just painting my beautiful nails. Birdman is always interrupting me. Don't fret, my pet. I'm sure it's important. What is it, Birdman? It's this crow. I've been trying to communicate <gasps> with him for the past three hours. But he's sick. Where did he come from? Oh, that's Mr. Ralph's pet crow. The man down the road, Mr. Ralph. Asked me to look after him while he's away on vacation. And have you been looking after him? Of course he has, Birdman. Twinkie Boy is very responsible. That's right, Birdman. I walk by him in the morning and I say good morning, Chester. And at night, I say, good night, Chester. That's all there is to it. When do you give him water? Water? Well, when I need a drink, I go get one. He should, too. Yeah, there's a sink in the kitchen. Duh, Birdman! Oh, my! And when do you feed him? Birdman, the fridge is stocked full of jello and cake. Mmm. It makes me hungry. I'm going to go eat. Stop right there! Birdman, what are you getting at? This bird! Mr. Ralph asked you to take care of him, and you haven't even been feeding him or giving him water. When you have a pet, you have to be responsible! Responsible? Yes! Pets don't feed themselves. This bird doesn't have hands. Like me, how can he get a glass of water? Or open the fridge for a snack? Twinkie boy, Birdman says we aren't responsible. Don't worry, Sheila. I'll go get Chester some cake right now. That's more like it. Get him some water too, he's thirsty. I know, little crow, that was a close call. Well, they aren't the brightest couple around. But I'm sure it won't happen again. <laughs> Sheila, just look at all these dishes piled up here in the sink. They've been piling up like this for weeks. Since I always do the cooking, I think it's your responsibility to wash the dishes. Twinkie boy, I hate doing dishes. Why can't Birdman do them? Me? Do dishes? Because I'm responsible for other household chores, like, um, taking care of this house plant. Birdman, what happened to your plant? It looks like it died. I don't know. I gave it orange juice and crackers, and I let it sit in the dark with me to watch movies. Birdman, plants can't drink orange juice, and they need sunshine to live. She was right, you know. Part of being responsible is taking care of things properly. If you don't know how to do it right, you should ask someone. Ah! What a letdown! I thought I knew everything about everything. Well, where is this crow you two are babysitting? I definitely know what crows like to eat for supper. Um, he was here a minute ago. Sheila, did you put crow somewhere? I thought he was with you, Twinkie Boy. 
You two aren't being very responsible. You don't even know where Mr. Ralph's pet crow is. Crow, crow, where are you? Crow? Oh no, we lost crow. I hear him, he's coming from that way. It's coming from that pile of dirty laundry. Oh, Crow, I was so worried about you. Don't ever do that to me again. Well, hello, I'm Goober, the friendliest and smartest fish in the ocean. One of the most important things that we human beings must be responsible for is the preservation of our world's oceans. It's full of so many creatures. Fish are fascinating animals that come in all shapes and sizes, and they play an important role in our ecosystem. Clownfish, for example, are known for their brightly colored patterns and their symbolic relationship with anemones. What are they called? <laughs> Anemon. Anemone. <laughs> Anemone? <laughs> Anemone? <laughs> and then anemone? Um, clownfish are protected by the stinging cells of the <laughs> anemone. And in return, they help to feed the anemone by bringing it small bits of food. Another colorful fish is the blue tang, which is easily recognizable by its bright blue and yellow coloration. Blue tangs are also interesting in that they are able to change their coloration when they are feeling threatened and when they are trying to blend into their surroundings. Yellow fish are, as their name suggests, bright yellow in color and can be found in a variety of habitats, from coral reefs to the open ocean. Some, some of them play hide and seek. Come back here, you little silly bugger. <laughs> Sharks are known for their razor sharp teeth. They are sort of scary, but in reality, they are essential to maintaining a healthy ocean ecosystem. Many species of sharks are now endangered due to overfishing and habitat destruction. It, so it is important that we work to protect them. What in the world is the sea urchin doing? This is not a fish, but actually a mammal. Can you believe it? It's a dolphin. It breathes air. Dolphins are social creatures that are highly intelligent and playful. They are known for their acrobatic displays and their ability to use sonar to find food. Mollusks are a diverse group of animals that include everything from clams to oysters to giant squid. Mollusks play an important role in the ocean in both predator and prey. And they are also an important food source for humans. Look at this octopus! Lobsters are large crustaceans that are pr prized for their meaty tails. They aren't very pretty to look at, but oh, are they so delicious with a little butter. Yum. They can be found in the Atlantic Ocean and are typically caught using traps and nets. Lobsters are known for their hard exoskeletons and their large claws, which they use to defend themselves and to catch food. Crabs, like lobsters, are crustaceans and they can be found in nearly every ocean in the world. Crabs come in a variety of shapes and sizes from tiny pea crabs to the massive king crabs. Do you see why we ensure that the ocean is preserved? There are so many things living there. So make sure you recycle as much as you can so that we can help keep the oceans clean. Thank you so much for your cooperation. Back so soon from your weekend getaway, Mr. Ralph? Let me get your pet crow for you. Crow? A crow? Twinkie boy, did we lose him again? How could you two imbeciles let this happen? Be reasonable, Mr. Ralph. We only lost him once. Well, maybe twice. Reasonable? Reasonable? You two had one job. You will find it before the next show or else. Find it now. Twinkie boy, Mr. Ralph is yelling at us. Mr. Ralph, you should be grateful to us. 
We actually did a great job of being kind of responsible. You are both idiots. Why the heck would I be grateful to you? You were the ones who lost it in the first place. That creature has more brains than you do. Do you know who I am? I am the greatest showman of all time. I think he flew out the window. To the car! We must scour the neighborhood. What was that? It doesn't matter, Sheila. We have to find Crow. Twinkie boy, wait! You ran over Mr. Ralph! There you go, Mr. Ralph. Good as new. Take it easy, you idiot. Sorry I ran you over. I guess I wasn't being very responsible, not looking where I'm driving. In fact, I'm turning over a new leaf. Birdman, get started on those dishes. Sheila, time to do this pile of laundry. Okay, Twinkie Boy! Ah! 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 Crow was in the laundry pile this whole time! I knew being responsible would pay off. <laughs> <laughs>